In this brief lesson, we'll be looking at factorising polynomials in C, and we'll use a number of techniques, including completing the square and long division of polynomials. So we're going to find all the factors of f of z over C, where the C refers to complex numbers, so it'll have real and so it has real and imaginary parts. And f of z equals z cubed minus 4z squared plus 2z plus 28. Now, before we begin, we'll be expecting three factors because it's a cubic function. One of those we expect to be real, and most likely two will be a pair of complex conjugates. I'll explain what that means a little bit later on. So step one is just use trial and error or some method to find the real root. So we sub in one into our function and see what we get. We get 27, so that's not a root. When we sub in negative two, we get zero. So that means that z plus two is a factor. So we found our first factor. Then we're going to use this linear factor to find the remaining quadratic factor. So z cubed minus 4z squared plus 2z plus 28 equals z plus 2, the factor we've already found, multiplied by some quadratic, quadratic factor, which we will call z squared plus pz plus q. Expand the right-hand side and then collect like terms. And then we can equate the left and right hand side. So we can see that 2q equals 28 and looking at the z squared terms pz squared plus 2z squared equals negative 4z squared and from that we find that q equals 14 and p equals negative 6. So subbing back into our into the equation we created above we can see that z squared minus 4z z cubed minus 4z squared plus 2z plus 28 equals z plus 2 multiplied by z squared minus 6z plus 14. So the next step now is to factorise that quadratic factor. Now, there's multiple ways you can do that. We could complete the square, use the quadratic formula. I'm going to complete the square. Um, so z squared minus 6z plus 14. Complete the square on the first two terms. So z squared minus 6z plus 9 and then add 5. So to get the 9 we divide the negative 6 by 2 and then square it. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Square that, we get 9. So we've completed the square inside the brackets. And we have a perfect square inside the brackets. Obviously, we've added the 5 because we need to keep the expression equal, the same. So z squared minus 6z plus 14 is equal to z squared minus 6z plus 9 plus 5. We haven't changed anything there. And then we need to get the difference of two squares. So we have to change that positive to a negative, and the way we can do that is by changing the five to square root of five i all squared and subtracting it, and you can convince yourself that those two expressions are equal. And then we have the difference of two squares, so it's z minus three minus root five i multiplied by z minus three plus root five i. So our original uh, function z cubed minus 4z squared plus 2z plus 28 is equal to z plus 2 multiplied by z minus 3 minus root 5i multiplied by z minus 3 plus root 5i. So we have our real factor and then we have our conjugate pair z minus 3 minus root 5i, z minus 3 plus root 5i. So at that point we have now factorised that expression. I'm just going to go on now to show you uh, a different method or a slightly different method to reach the same conclusion. So step one is the same, just use trial and error or another method, find the first factor. And then at this point, we can find the quadratic factor using long division of polynomials. Now it's just the same as long division of real numbers. So if you're doing 392 divided by seven, uh, then you can do that by long division. It's the same principle here. So z, plus, uh, z cubed minus 4z squared plus 2z plus 28 divided by z plus two. We ask what is z cubed divided by z, the leading term of our divisor, and it's z squared. Then we say z squared multiplied by z plus two gives us z cubed plus 2z squared. We subtract, and we have obviously the z cubed term disappears, that was the purpose. And we have minus 4z squared minus 2z squared equals negative 6z squared. Then we bring down the plus 2z, and we ask how many times does z go into negative 6z squared? negative 6z, multiply negative 6z by z plus 2, and we get negative 6z squared minus 12z, subtract again, and the negative 6z squared term disappears, as, is, as we hoped. 2z minus negative 12z is 14z, bring down the 28, divide 14z by z, get 
is 14. 14 times z plus 2 is 14z plus 28, which we subtract and get 0, which we would hope. So what that means is that z plus 2 multiplied by z squared minus 6z plus 14 equals our original um, function. So we come to the same conclusion, which is that z cubed minus 4z squared plus 2z plus 28 equals z plus 2 multiplied by z squared minus 6z plus 14. So that's what we got before. Again, factorize by some method, completing the square or using the quadratic formula, and we get up the same factorized expression.